Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dunbar Snack Bar here with the Rose Bowl. So this is going to be pretty awesome. This is going to be the first of the BCS series games that I'm going to be going ahead and playing and posting here on YouTube while doing the commentary all at the same time, of course. So this one pits Wisconsin against Stanford. And you guys know when I'm doing these videos, I don't want you to look too much into why I pick one team over another. But I guess in this one, I had a little bit of a reason why I chose Wisconsin. I played against Wisconsin twice as Nebraska. And I did get a chance to play as Stanford in the Pac-12 Championship. So I haven't got a chance to play as Wisconsin yet. Plus, it is a little selfish on me too. Because whenever uh, one of the teams from your conference, at least I feel this way, is in a big game and it doesn't have any effect upon your team, you're always going to cheer for the team that's in your conference. Because if your conference wins a bunch of games, it makes your conference look better. And therefore, it makes your team look better as well. So I'm secretly hoping that Wisconsin ends up winning this game. In fact, because of everything that's been going on, the Rose Bowl has actually been played. So I should probably take a look real quick and see who ended up winning here. But let's just go ahead. We're going to stick to the uh, video right here. So getting things started off here. That is a great fumble. It's probably one of the coolest fumbles I have had playing NCAA in a long, long time. Because not only do I get the big hit, but at the same time, I catch it right in the middle of it. Oh, Stanford ended up winning. Not that that's a bad thing. Don't get me wrong. But 20-14 to 14 over Wisconsin. That would have been a great game to be able to watch. But I've been uh, kind of doing stuff today, so I didn't get a chance to be able to watch it. And for those of you who follow me on Facebook, Twitter, you guys kind of know what's going on in the personal life right now. It's kind of taking me away from stuff. But I'll uh, save that for another video. Anyway, one of the things about Wisconsin I'm very excited about here is the chance to be able to play as Monte Ball. Seriously, this guy is phenomenal in the game and in real life, too. So you better believe I'm going to be running the ball, and I'm hoping to be able to run the ball a lot more efficiently than I have uh, in other games prior to this. Hasn't been my strong suit, I feel, in NCAA, but able to get across that first down marker here. So we're looking at first and goal. This is a good position for me here to be in if I want to go ahead and get the touchdown because I got four place to be able to do that here so I'm going to try and run to the right side not the best call right there oh that one was tough but anyway we're going to try it again here with something a little bit different the run doesn't end up working on third and goal though I'm going to be uh, taking a look here for my tight end who is open on the right side and I'm able to get the touchdown here so the first of hopefully many touchdowns in this game right there really nobody was covering him at all that was a great time to be looking over to that side of the field here because I, I don't know. I actually would have been really, really mad if he had gone ahead and dropped it. That would have driven me crazy. But anyway, Stanford trying to see if they can get something going. They end up losing a yard on that one. So that running game for Stanford just really hasn't been there this game. And I've had it going. But there we go with the sack. So really at this point, everything that's kind of been uh, or that could be going wrong for Stanford offensively is going wrong unless they go ahead and throw like an interception I mean they fumbled it you know trying to run the ball hasn't gone anywhere they get a sack they get an interception it's like the cycle of bad things that can happen to you I guess on offense but we're able to stop that one here by playing the pass remember that gives you a little bit of a bonus if they really do end up passing the ball on that one so Monte Ball though with the reception looking downfield to my hat back, which you guys know is something that I do very frequently in this game. I find it works very well. All right, so O'Brien throwing an interception right here to Lancaster. So I thought I was going to have something good going on here, but that's really not the case when I go ahead and I throw that interception. So a very dangerous position for me to be in because that goes ahead and gets Stanford the momentum right now, and I can't afford to be able to be given that one to him. So that one almost caught, but the contact that I made right at the moment, the ball in his hands allows it to get knocked free. So I'm in a good position here. Third and 10, not even taking some time, trying to throw it, not able to get it to the receiver. That's gonna make it fourth down. So man, we're rocking it on defense here in this game. Let's see how we can do on offense on this particular drive. Monte Ball picking up six, and then we're gonna go ahead with a little screen play. Gonna get it to ball, but honestly, he was covered. I didn't know what to do at that point. Holding onto the ball was probably not the best thing to do. I could have gone ahead and just thrown it away or something like that here. But third and 17, gonna go with a deep pass. Have some time. Fine ball open downfield. 
and we get the first down plus a ton more. So with five seconds left here in that first quarter, I pick up four yards, and here we are in the second quarter now. So great way to start things off here with a touchdown to make it 14 to nothing. Stanford definitely in trouble if we keep going like this here. The first quarter kind of represents what's going to happen for the other three quarters. Not going to be pretty, Stanford. All right, Taylor making my Xbox freeze. Then finally it gets going, but he does get the first down plus some more here too. So that running game, I don't know, it's starting to pick up now. Got to be careful, but Nottingham goes back with the pass. That one does get completed. So Stanford is getting things going now on this drive, which is nice to be able to see here. There's a pass to Montgomery. Gets within the 20-yard line, so about the 16. And then you're not going anywhere. Loses two on that pass. So that was smart to play uh, man defense right there, which is actually what I do more than anything else. But that'll get him to about the 10-yard line. No, actually, it's 11, so not too far off. But third and three, play action pass. You cannot fool me. That one gets intercepted, too, in the end zone. And here I am thinking, oh, my gosh, I don't want to cross that goal line. Because if I do, then I'll probably have the ball at, like, the one or two-yard line, and then they'll get some safety or something, and that'll just be embarrassing. So I probably could have just gone ahead and kneeled it if I hadn't done anything. But I didn't want to run the risk of crossing the goal line, though I know I did risk fumbling the ball, and then they get a touchdown if they recover it. But Williams is open, gets to about midfield with that one. So things are just going completely my direction here, and I'm liking this. Monte Ball running forward, picking up four yards. So consistency out of him has been uh, something that's held true for most of the game here. And there he goes, making it third and inches. Let's see if we can fight forward with O'Brien to be able to get it. It does not look like I do. I'm going to try and go for it again. This is one of those coach moments, and I make it right there. So I guess it works out for me. This drive continues on here. We've got three minutes and 13, actually two minutes, 36 seconds before the half ends. So O'Brien back in the pocket, able to get it to my tight end. Yet again, Pedersen getting within the 10-yard line. So... We could get a quick score here before we reach the end of the half, which would be nice. So, O'Brien finding Aberderis does not get into the end zone here, but we're really close. So, Monte Ball just goes ahead and takes it in on that next play. So, there is another seven points to tack on here, and it is going to be 21 to nothing after I go ahead and kick that extra point. So with a minute and 48 seconds left, though, that still gives Stanford a lot of time to go ahead and get on the board right now. So third and five for them. They're going to complete that one. And they're going to be going with some. Uh, are they going up with hurry up offense? I think they are about right now, if I remember right. But now I jump the, the snap here, which is good, but they still complete the pass. They go ahead and they call timeout. So second and one. Again, back for the pass. I am playing the pass on every single play right now because I know that's what they're going to be doing. Montgomery moving the ball, 31-yard line here. One minute left in the first half. But Nottingham hikes it, and that one's going to get picked off yet again. I don't know about you guys, but it feels like when you're playing on Heisman, you get more interceptions. I don't know if that's just me, but... It's been crazy. Anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and let the time run out. We're going to go to halftime here with the lead of 21 to nothing. So that's already more points than either team scored in the real Rose Bowl. Remember, it was 20 to 14. So I guess things are going well for me here. I shouldn't say I guess things are going well. Things are going well for me at this point. I'm not going to change anything when I go into the second half. Usually you use halftime to you know kind of reflect, make some changes. I'm not going to be doing that here at this point. There's nothing I feel I need to change. Just keep doing what I'm doing, and I think I'll be good. So there's the first down, of course, uh, through the air. Now I'm going to be going with a deep pass, just trying to see if I can find somebody open, and I throw it deep. But I'm not able to connect on third down, so I'm going to have to go ahead and punt. So Stanford finally stopping me right here. So get uh, see what accuracy I've got right here on the punt. It's up. Oh, this looks good. This looks really good. Three-yard line. That's where this is going to go ahead and end up. So a great, great punt. 
This puts me in good position. You can see I'm blitzing right here, and it works well. Taylor goes down in their own end zone for the safety. So I get two points out of that one. I get possession again, 23 to nothing after that safety. It's always great to be able to see that referee put his hands up doing that safety sign. You know you're definitely doing something right. So Monte Ball running, getting the first down here. Still is rocking it on the ground. O'Brien gets sacked. Looks like nobody ended up picking him up on that one, which uh, I'm not too happy about, but we're all right. Second and 17. There we go. I make the catch. Even though he got hit, that was still a good pickup. So I'm going to go ahead and toss it to the right side of the field. I should have cut in a little bit earlier because I do not get the first down. So I'm getting cocky at this point. I figure I converted on fourth down last time. Why not go for it again? So Monte Ball is not going to go anywhere. It wasn't his fault, really. Computer jumped the snap and got right past my offensive line. But that one completed, getting to the 48-yard line, six-yard pickup. Second and four now for Stanford, and they have been relying on the pass quite a bit. And now it seems to be working for them. But the amount of turnovers that they've had here has been kind of crazy. So I don't know. Maybe they should be sticking with the running game a little bit more. But that one, surprise, surprise, we come down with another interception. But... Threw in a triple coverage. That is not what you want to do as a quarterback, of course. So Monte Ball using the blockers in front of him to be able to pick up 14 yards right there. So I've gotten a lot better with the run. Thanks to Teddy Crocker for that one. Five-yard pickup to my tight end. So I'm kind of letting time run down a little bit. Not intentionally, but gosh, I get sacked again. My O-line needs to get back on their game here because I don't have as much time in the pocket as I usually do. But again, tight ends open, and again, I get a good pickup off of that one. You can't leave my tight end open. You guys know that I look to my tight end quite a bit as well. So second and six, trying to change things up here. And that was a smart call. Get it to Aberderis. First down. So this will be the last play of the third quarter. Then we'll head into Q4, which is where we're at right now. Try and get this game finished off here. Monte Ball running to the right side. I knew that if I'd gone up the middle with that one that I would have been stopped pretty quick. You can see the defensive line is actually getting scrunched up here, covering the middle part uh, of the field here, or the line of scrimmage, preventing me from running like I have been most of the game. So I'm going to go back with a long pass, but I lose enough points that I've gone ahead and knocked myself out of field goal range. So my goal right now, not necessarily to get the first down, but to get into field goal range, get some points on the board. Make the mistake, though, of throwing an interception right there. So that's going to give Stanford some decent field position to start this particular drive off. I'm not going to lie. I'm hoping Stanford scores on this one. I never like shutting a team out. I know it means I've been playing well, but still, I don't like it. All right. So five minutes, 40 seconds now, Nottingham looking for Montgomery, is able to connect, picks up almost 10 yards, third and inches, the handoff to Taylor, that is going to be a first down. Keep this going, Stanford, this running game, I think I'm not going to be able to stop like I usually do, but they keep going with the pass, and I keep prepping for the pass. Uh, that one gets swat, what? What? We got to watch this one again. I thought it got swatted away, but then I saw they picked up nine yards. Yeah, this is a great catch. Apparently, he didn't use the ground to be able to catch that one, but whatever. Nine-yard pickup. I'm cool with it. So there is a flag on the play here. It is going to be a false start for Stanford. So that's going to bring him back five yards, and we're looking at third and six. So again, I am anticipating a pass. And I'm glad that I went with that here because on the play action, they go deep. I swat it away. It is fourth and six, and they are going to be going for it here. Kind of risky, but what can you do at this point? Got to do something to try and get on the board here. That one also swatted away. Thankfully, I played the pass there as well. So a turnover on downs, and I'm just letting the clock run. Now, Monte Ball is out right now. I don't know when he got injured, but apparently it's not something too huge. So we won't be seeing him here 
for a little bit, maybe even for the rest of the game. I can't remember. But I wasn't able to convert on third down. So this may be Stanford's last drive. What a great catch. Oh, and he fumbles it. Oh, what a tough time to be able to fumble that ball. We recover. It does not go out of bounds in time. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and let the clock run out. Sometimes I feel like I should you know, go ahead and just throw the ball up, let him get a safety, and then like blitz all the time so they can pick up yards to the air. But that wouldn't be fair either. White fighting forward to be able to get that first down. And this is going to be the last play of the game. Monte Ball getting it done, running forward. And that is going to be it. The clock is going to run out. So Wisconsin does end up winning this one 23 to nothing over Stanford, which is not how it turned out here. But my defense really came to play. Stanford's actually did too in the second half. It was really tough for me to get anything going. So that is going to be the Rose Bowl. I appreciate you guys watching this. I definitely do. More bowl games, of course, to come later on. You just got to make sure that you're coming across the channel watching it. So, again, you guys, thank you so much. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great stuff. Again, you are phenomenal people. Do not ever forget that. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one.